Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. Today I would like to teach you an introductory tapping exercise that's useful for building finger strength for all eight of your fingers. Uh, so this is for two-handed tapping and also getting everything a bit more level and things feeling a bit more nice. And then you can get on your way to doing all of that crazy uh, math rock tapping stuff. And this is the very first exercise in my math rock uh, guitar uh, techniques book. So uh, shameless plug there, but it's a great place to start and you'll see why. So it's a very simple simple exercise, we're going to start from the 5th fret on the E string and this is the note A and you're going to start there with your index finger. The positioning is important for your hand so I recommend that you anchor the thumb like I do on the middle of the back of the fretboard here. You're going to play index on the 5th, so tap that and then 6th with your middle finger like this and then you're going to do your ring finger on the 7th and then your little finger here on the 8th fret. So you're going to walk up four frets like that. Try to keep your thumb anchored in the same place on the back of the fretboard and bring your hand around accordingly. We're going to bring in our non-dominant hand, so our strumming hand, and this is going to be continue the walk up the fretboard here. So we're going to start on the ninth fret, and again we're going to start with our index finger moving to our middle ring and then to our little finger. Ninth fret with the index, 10th with your middle, 11th with your ring, and 12th with your little finger. So you may notice there that when it comes to doing the little finger, it's quite, well mine is, especially it's pretty weak, so I like to put my uh, ring finger on top of it like this when I tap, and this gives it a bit more stability, and a bit more strength too. And for this one, you want to anchor your thumb on the side of the fretboard like this, and this gives you an anchor and makes things much more easier. So, if we go through the whole thing, so start with your strumming hands from the 5th fret. And you may notice things are quite quiet, I'm quite I'm controlling my um, string ring quite well. So if you're noticing that you're getting quite a lot of um, unwanted the open E string ringing underneath, notice that when I'm tapping I'm always muting with this index finger here after I tap. So you see it's always hovering just on the string there. And that helps um, mute any unwanted string ring. And you can do the same again as we go across the fretboard. The next thing to do is continue this pattern going up all of the strings starting from the same fret. So on the A string, 5th fret. You may notice that I'm keeping the rest of the strings from ringing by using the palm of my uh, strumming hand here and resting it on the strings as I go across to stop these strings ringing. So your first worry is um, getting your finger strength and dynamics controlled properly to make things even. And then the next thing you want to worry about is um, try to be as clean as possible by using some of these muting techniques. So that version is staccato, so it's designed to get you thinking about applying the same pressure for each finger to get um, evenness in dynamics. The next thing I would like you to try is um, it's a little bit more challenging and we're going to do it legato style. So you're going to hammer on from nowhere on the 5th fret and it's the same walking up as 4 frets. And you're going to do the same again. This is where it gets a bit tricky, walking up like this. And if you like me it would feel very awkward, especially with your little finger. It almost feels like I'm flicking it at the end. <laughs> and do the same thing for every other string too. And 
and this in turn will really strengthen your hands, especially with your uh, your non-dominant hand, your strumming hand there. So just a quick one for you today. Um, I don't want to overload you with information. So like I said, this is just an introduction to tapping and it's a useful technique for developing finger strength and dexterity. Uh, like I said, this is lifted from my uh, math rock ebook, um, guitar techniques ebook. So if you want to learn more about finger tapping, especially in the math rock style, there's a link down below for that. Uh, best of luck. I hope to see some tapping videos from you fairly soon. As always, I want to say thank you very much for watching these videos and for supporting the channel. If you're considering supporting the channel, then you can buy some of my merchandise or you could support me over on Patreon. As always, thank you very much to the Patreons that are supporting this channel, um, giving me time to make this content. I really do appreciate that. As always, stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.